Hi there, and welcome back to Alan Wake. Although this time it's a bit different. Uh, something happened, which I have never seen before. As in, when I usually upload a video, I wait until it has uploaded and starts processing. And then I'll just get rid of it uh, in my computer, from my computer. Because I don't need it anymore. But uh, today something happened. I was um, uploading an episode for you. And um, it had uploaded. It had been processing for about two hours. And suddenly YouTube said that uh, they cannot process the video. Conversion failed or something. Don't get it. I upload in the correct format in with the MP4. In MP4, everything. And the H264 codec. So I have no idea what might have happened, but I have never seen this before. So I wasn't even able to to see it. That it to know that it might happen. So I lost some progress. Well, I didn't lose progress, but uh, I lost an entire episode, uh, which I uh, wouldn't be able to share with you. So I went back and played it up to the point where I stopped the last video, and I'll play it uh, now until where the next episode begins. So, bear with me, because I already know what happens here, so it might not be as interesting. But at least you see it. So, let's continue. This manuscript I already got, you heard it as well. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. The Taken are filled with darkness. Now let's get that coffee again as well. Right into the face. Oh, the coffee doesn't respawn. Interesting to know. Okay then, let's continue. Hi. I hate the fact that they have unlimited weapons they can throw at me. They can just keep throwing and throwing and throwing. When I try to get to this point uh, again then... I tried that uh, frustrating um, sequence again where I couldn't start that generator. And I couldn't start it uh, this time either. Because uh, I got hit by four to six weapons at once from the from range.
I guess I just have to move quickly because it seems that they will not stop coming. I could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. Mm. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Barry! Ah! What are you? What are you? Ah, no, no, I'm sorry. Ah, 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 ah. Can't get in. Uh, I know you. You were in jail the other day. <laughs> I went. <laughs> the farm again and, uh, for the moonshine you know it, uh, it makes you see they're they're not gonna miss it they're in the loony bin uh, my buddy Danny I lost him something's gone wrong with him uh, it's not him like the real bad follow-up to a real good movie the best friends suddenly the bad guy who who wrote this crap anyway and he's dead oh I've run through every possible course in my head if I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes. Cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who'll help me. I'll make it happen. So basically he wrote Zane into the story as well, that's why Zane has been helping him. Hi. Most likely. Also, I found the cofetermos uh, here, somewhere on this counter. When I was uh, playing uh, before. The front door was locked. I could climb out through the broken window. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. There's this poor dead deer. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. I found another coffee thermos uh, next to this tractor. Also, there are more supplies 
here in inside and we'll listen to the radio again as well up there so you won't miss out on anything I guess I have to start um, actually packing up my videos then until they are definitely up on YouTube that's five that's ten that's fourteen better well as I'm sure everyone's noticed that storm we all felt coming is finally here boys at the weather service reckon it'll last until morning at the very least uh, pertaining to that let me uh, read that missing persons alert again the sheriff's department still looking for a caucasian woman 30 years old slim and blonde with blue eyes she may be lost in the woods and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident if you see her please make sure you get her indoors and call the sheriff it's bad weather to be caught out in so if you see someone in the area who maybe looks a little confused Give him a hand, all right? <clears throat> this is Pat Main on KBF FM. Hoping you're all safe and warm tonight. In the original playthrough, I thought that uh, he was talking about Alice in that description. And I still think uh, he is. Headshot. <laughs> Alright. Let's change the car again as I did in the original playthrough. And uh, by the way, the other way, the other road I could go uh, to is this one here. Comes back here. It's just. Um, well, another road. It's probably the, the main road because it doesn't have any supplies on it. Ooh. Nope, he's not kid. It's not kidding. Let's kill them all. can't go further with the car anyway, so let's go on foot. Hi.
This is really loud. Let's get inside here, there are probably supplies. I think there were supplies here, yeah. Okay, let's continue. Look at that stage. That's really cool. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Ow! Run! It's coming! There's too many of them! <laughs> oh, Barry. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Bronson. Shut up and shoot. Ow! We have to fight them off. I can set off more of the fireworks from here and help you out. Hey, Al, did you notice there's a lot of ammo and stuff around? This place is stuck. Collateral carnage. No, no, no! Why do you keep doing this to me? You want my battery, please, please, please! That's the one thing I really don't like uh, in this game, is that when you get hit, you're stun locked for about 5 to 6 seconds, so they can do whatever they want. Don't let 
<laughs> done, I think. Yeah, it's done. And boom goes the hut. <laughs> that was awesome! Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Hey, ow! This way to the farm! Eight. This is 24, so it's a better choice. All right, now we have to get into the barn. Seller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. <laughs> I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. <laughs> oh, Barry. And what is it with this cutout? I don't get it. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. <laughs> and I think we can uh, return to the... Oh. I actually missed that in the original playthrough. Let's get that now. Good thing I came back. Mulligan questions Nightingale's orders. Peter Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think writers were particularly useful people, and a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't even clear what the man had done except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running out. Huh. Alright, anyway, I think we can return to the original playthrough. Uh, next episode will be the normal playthrough. Just as always. So yeah, uh, bye, and see in this dialogue is in the next episode as well, so you'll see it there.
Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV. So, bye.